Hi guys, this is Katja with Creators Image. Today I'd like to show you how to decoupage a candle. Now we are approaching the 14th of February, Valentine's Day, and instead of like making a card or uh, buying a present, you could consider making your own very romantic candle either to give away or maybe just to create some romantic atmosphere at your own home. Now when I decoupage a candle I usually use napkins. So this is what I'm showing you today. So here's what we start with. You take a candle in a light color. So white would be perfect or cream colored like this one. The size doesn't matter. Pick one of your own choosing. The second thing you really need is special a candle podge. This is glue specially for candles. Now this glue is flame resistant and water-based. Now to apply that you will need a brush and of course last but not least you will need some napkins. Now I cut these up already. You could also uh, try tearing. Some people like to tear them then you have the rough edges. Uh, this time I have used scissors so I have my own stash here. Now, the thing with napkin technique is you will only use the top layer and most napkins have multiple layers. You won't need those, so start with removing the top layer of your napkin. I think there's another one he here. Now, I pulled a hole in this one, but that doesn't matter, we will fix that. So, this is the very th thin napkin layer that we will work with um, and we will cover the whole candle with them. Okay, let's start and I'll see you at the end. Now these things will happen because the, uh, the glue will make your napkin tear very easily. That is not a big problem because we will fix all of these, you know, patch it up. Um, the goal here is not to be absolutely perfect because that's impossible. Now when you have uh, put your napkin on like this, then you will add a second layer of your podge. Now this will set the napkin and it will also when it dries give it a nice satin finish. Okay now for these tears here and here I will do some tearing of my own. will not use the scissors because now I will need a rough edge and again this does not have to be Perfect. Let's use that piece here. Okay, now very gently add the second layer of glue here as well. What I'm doing here is um, this has a straight edge and I'm trying to rough it up a bit because you will see the straight edged pieces once it dries. So I'm trying not to be too straight and still maintaining roughly the size that I need for this piece here. Now here you can uh, do some designing as well if you please. You could you could use an entirely different napkin or use different patterns. Um, as for me, I think I'm just, uh, and I think I will go for some, uh, some of the lighter colored pieces here, like the orange and the pink, because this is all pretty dark. You will be careful not to be too rough on the edges here, because it will tear, as you have seen by now. Now, as you can see, this is quite an easy technique. It 
doesn't cost you a lot of time except of course for the drying so it's not that you can do this project and then immediately gift it to someone because it will need to dry and I think I'm taking at least a day or well I'm not sure how many hours but several but the actual um, creative part Okay, so we have done the main uh, coat here. It looks a bit ridiculous now. Oh, I, we, I see we ha still have some uh, fixing to do here. And perhaps I will do an extra layer, sort of a belt, a belly band here where the two meet. The white that you see here, the glue itself, it will dry transparent, so don't worry about that. Just make sure you're generous with your coating here. Okay, so this was the belly band. Now for the fixing of the problem area here. This is pink, a pink piece, so I will use a pink piece again and I will tear again because I will need some rough edges. Now again you will see some of these um, patchworked areas when it's dry. I will only decide what to do with them when it's dried. Because depending on how this actually dries, I may actually leave it when I'm satisfied with it. Or I may uh, put some embellishments to hide uh, some of the rougher uh, areas. Um, you may th uh, can think of like stickles or stickers even, you know, to hide some of the more inglorious bits, if that is even a word. Okay, so this may seem a bit ridiculous now. I will cut these off and then we will let it dry. Again, you will have to be gentle when you're cutting because if you pull too hard here, because this entire thing is, has been softened up by the glue, you may rip uh, across your entire candle. So no pulling here. Now it may help if you use scissors like these. These have a coating um, that is anti-glue, uh, anti so uh, it's pretty smooth when you're cutting through glued areas. With wet glue, I mean, like I'm doing right now. Nothing sticks to the scissors, which is a great help when you're doing some fussy cutting like this one here. Now when you're satisfied with your own uh, border here, now you will apply your second layer of glue. Now here I did some tearing. Alas, alas. I just saw it now. But make sure that your border is entirely covered in the candle podge. Not just because it will set, but also because of the uh, flame resistance. Okay, so this is phase one. Now we're letting it dry and then we'll come back to it. And here's the end product. I used some stickles, as you can see, perhaps here the red. I uh, drew some hearts. I drew some lines, too, parallel in red, all around. And I wrote love three times, separated by hearts. Here again, love. Another heartlet and love again. And then embellished with some 
pink hearts as well, also with stickles. Now this is a very nice addition to your home and if you want to gift it, you could always wrap a nice gift ribbon around it. And there you go. So have fun making your own decoupaged candle. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.